Okay, so starting your color pencil guide, you are going to first put the title at the top of your page. Then you're going to draw this band, this rectangular shape from one side of the paper to the other. Please do not draw your rectangle too short or it's going to be kind of hard to do your colored bands in there. Underneath each band, you're going to do one, two, three, four, five dots that are equidistant all the way across. Those are going to be the spaces where you're going to write the color names. Each of your band is going to start with white and end with black. So you can go ahead and write in those colors, white and black. And then leave the other dots free for whatever colors you choose. I made three bands on my paper. So go ahead and pause this video until you've got your notes set up and ready to go. Once you're ready to go, you're going to pick your colors. Here I've got a slate, which is kind of a gray color, a raspberry, and this is, I think this is yellow green, yellow green, jade green. Okay, so I'm going to put two of them to the side. I'm going to start with my slate color right above the dot here. I'm going to, in tiny circles, just like we practiced, lay down my first layer. And I'm going to go pretty dark, and then I'm going to make two gradients coming off the side, pretty long gradients. They're going to go almost to this next dot over here. Remember, gradient just means that it's something that goes from dark to light. So I'm going to go back over it until my gradient is very gradually going from dark to light. Once I've done that side, I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm going to make a gradient going the other direction. Make sure that you keep your motion in small, small circles that overlap. That's how you get rid of any of those lines or streaks that you do not want in your color blends. So I'm going back over it, increasing pressure each time until I've got a gradient that goes from dark to light this way and a gradient that goes from dark to light this way, almost to the other dots. Then I'm going to set down that color and start with my next color. I'm going to move over one dot, and on top of this dot, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to start with a dark, dark layer and then sort of go make my gradient on both sides this time. This gradient is going to overlap with the other gradient from the slate color. And it's overlapping quite a bit. And that's exactly how we want it. I'm going to go back over it several times, increasing pressure, but always going from dark to light. I'm going to do the same thing going this direction. Okay, and then I'm going to go take my third color, and over the other dot, I'm going to lay down my third color. This time, the gradient's going to overlap on the other side of the slate color. Always going from dark to light. One tip uh, when you're using white, do the color before you do the white. Otherwise, it looks kind of strange. I mean, you can experiment doing both ways, but I tend to like the effect of doing the color and then the white. So I'm going to stop there. I have not done white or black yet, but do you see how I have these dark bands or dark spaces in between the light gradients? So I've got dark, then light, then dark, then light, then dark, then light. I want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my slate color, and I'm going to keep layering and layering and layering the colors until what I'm left with is just a solid block of color where I cannot tell where one color starts and the other color stops.
Okay, so now it's starting to look more like a color blend that I want. It doesn't, so those dark splotches are starting to go away as I end up blending the colors together. Now, when you are finished with the middle colors, you want to add some black and some white into the ends of your band. Now, for black, you're only going to do the gradient one way. Now, black is incredibly powerful, so you want to go light with the black until you've got a lot mixed in there. Now I'm going to add some more green, pulling that color over from my gradient. So you'll keep going back and forth with the black and green. And on the other side, white. Now white, you can barely, barely see this white. But I want you to practice using white on top of another color and just see how it subtly changes the effect of the color. Kind of blurs it and blends it in. So once you have your first band, look, look back over your band. I would probably go over this space more because it's a little light. And maybe this blend right here a little bit more from the gray to the green. Just keep going until you have a solid color block. And don't forget to label your colors, whatever color is on here. So I would write jade green. I would probably use a Sharpie if I had one in front of me. Slate and then raspberry. Okay, so you're going to pick three more colors to do for this band plus white and black and then three different colors for your third one. And that is going to be the start of your colored pencil guide.